And you are not alone if you're having flashbacks to the extremely cold Christmas back in 2022. That frigid weather caused costly damage to our landscapes. But there's a key difference between that weather event and the upcoming cold front. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald explains. There's always something uh, blooming here in the Bergie Garden, which is really fun. This is the yard of a master gardener. Even frigid weather is no match for Christy Bergstrom. I feel no anxiety at all because we've been very intentional about what we've put in our garden. The Franklin resident has worked hard with UT TSU Extension in Williamson County to put plants, trees, and shrubs in her yard that will survive and thrive. But what they've done, which is great, is put a lot of native plants in the landscape. And our native plants are native to our climate. They're used to these hot than cold and you know, late freezes and snaps of cold. Two Christmases ago, a flash freeze damaged plants all around Middle Tennessee, including at the Nashville Zoo. Basically, all the uh, fluids inside the, the leaves froze. Horticulture agents did dozens of site visits. We dropped from like 50 to negative two. In such a short time frame, the plants had no chance to get used to it. A drastic drop like that is not in the Storm 5 weather team's forecast. However, single-digit temperatures and snow chances are on the way, and those create problems. The best thing you can do for your plants is make sure they're well watered, so that rain we had recently is going to be really helpful. A dry plant is going to be a lot more affected by the cold than a well-watered plant. Also, like at this home, bunch pots together in a protected area so they can create their own warmth. If you do lose anything over this weather the next couple of days, um, really think long and hard about what you replace it with um, because natives are always going to be the best choice. Picking the right plants in the spring can take the worry out of your winter. Every month we've got something blooming and it's, it's great because it's food for the bees all year long. In Franklin, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.